Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin from the photoacademy.eu and in this video tutorial I show you how to connect the Sony DSC QX10 to an iPhone. Last time I showed you something about this Sony camera lens and especially the QX10 that I have. I took with me to a vacation and I got some questions about how to connect this lens to an iPhone. Some tried it and uh, it seemed to be a little hard to understand. On the Sony Xperia that I have it's very easy. You use the NFC connection, you touch the lens with your phone and it opens up the Sony app and it connects the lens to your smartphone but it's not working with the iPhone on that way. So in this video I show you how to use this Sony DSC QX10 on an iPhone. Yeah, on the iPhone you're going into settings and there into your Wi-Fi settings. And because your camera lens is a Wi-Fi hotspot, you will find a direct JC something DSC as a Wi-Fi connection. That one you choose in your Wi-Fi connection on the settings of your iPhone and then you can go back to your Play Memories and then Play Memories is searching for the device and it connects immediately and you can go into the horizontal mode as well and here you have all, everything you need for your photos. You have a settings where you can copy from the device. You can choose your white balance, a self timer. You can choose in the still image size what you want to have. It's like 4 to 3 for 18 megapixels or 16 to 9 and 30 megapixels. I always use this. 16 to 9 and uh, the size of the review the bigger the image review is the slower is the connection because of the Wi-Fi so for the preview on the screen I always used 2 megapixel it's enough you can have your beep you can format the SD card of the camera lens if you have it and the settings for your smartphone and all the settings and the functions are the same. Doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or an Android like a Sony Xperia that I have. And you can choose if you want to save your image that it's taken on your smartphone. And here I'm now in the program mode. I can choose the auto ISO or something else. I can choose a EV plus minus exposure compensation. I can set a focus point just by tapping on the screen and you will hear the beep. You can zoom. It's like to 250 millimeters telephoto. It's a very nice telephoto lens. You can go back to wide angle to 25 millimeters. You can choose a camera mode or a video mode. And up here in the program mode you also have superior auto or intelligent auto. If I'm out in the field I don't want to change the settings for ISO or exposure conversation, I choose the superior mode. It's uh, quite good and in some cases I choose intelligent. It depends. You can try it by yourself but most of the time I'm into auto mode and then you're just taking pictures and the camera will transfer this image and show it on your screen if you choose it under settings. 
Yeah, this was it for this tutorial how to connect the Sony QX10 to your iPhone. Thanks for watching, have fun, enjoy, goodbye.